Hello, 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 and we are back. Okay, guys, ready? Today's actually kind of a fun one. I like this pattern. So, pretty straightforward. I'm going to start here. You can start wherever you like, but all I'm going to do is write those nice half circles. You can fit, right? You can make them as large as you want, or you can make them as small as you want. So, I kind of did three there. Try to do a couple more. That next one, so I got four. Let's try to do, I'm gonna try to slowly increase it so I fit. I'm gonna try to do it at three, four. I have to make it small, almost got five. I tried. Three, we'll make a little baby one. Okay, and so just like that previous pattern, right? We drew our kind of circles. And then we went back in, drew in another right baby circle right and all you i don't know if you guys see this but all we're really doing is drawing the letter c and just a bunch of different directions right and the c becomes a u right p q and e right that's why we can call it the magic c because it's just a, some change of direction some new hats it becomes a whole new letter. Okay, so we did that. Pretty straightforward, I hope. Pretty simple. And then what you'll want to do too, right? And we can kind of do that now or later. Kind of, it's up to you, right? We're going to color in the circles just like we've done in previous um, designs. Nothing new there, right? So just kind of, just so you know you have that there. So now for the fun to begin. This is So now what we're going to do is I'm going to trace the shape I made. So what I mean by that is, so I'm going to start right here, and you can go in any direction, but I'm going to kind of mirror, right, this shape. So I go in a little bit, I come out. I go in a little bit, right? So now i got to change direction. I go out, up and down, right? And so I've got my nice kind of little outline and we're going to do same thing, right? So I want, and you can choose the direction, right? Have fun with it. But if you want to go the same direction, you can. And you kind of see, right? There's way, that was way too tiny a space. So I wasn't going to be able to really get anything in there. So I just kind of, I skipped it. Okay. And that's totally okay. So, and you kind of see we're bringing the space smaller and smaller and smaller. So now what we're going to do. So instead of, because this is closed, right? So now we want to leave it open, almost like a maze, right? So I'm going to start here. And you kind of see, right? I kind of shortened that space. And then I'm going to, so I'm not going to jump back and close. I'm going to jump above. Right? Still kind of following the pattern. Right? So definitely now I'm kind of close to the end. So I'm going to stop. And all I'm going to do is eh, just draw in a little shape here. You can make a triangle. It doesn't really matter. And there you have our shape. Mine's a little funky because I got all those letters in there. Um, and then this is where, right, if you wanted... You go back in, you start kind of coloring in all those circles. And this is definitely one, sorry, I'm sorry to reach across the screen like that, where going, if you did it in pencil, kind of going back it, going back over what you drew with pen can make it really stand out a lot more. And so you can write just kind of like right there. And I have the kind of pens I have. These are kind of fun. Um, they're actually like different widths. 
So I'm going to, let's see. Eh, these guys are kind of almost the same. So it won't kind of show super, super different. Right, but you kind of see what I'm doing there. So even if you have like a ballpoint pen, then one of those fancy felt tip pens, especially if in the same color, it'll be a little different. And that'll kind of give you a little different, almost like texture to the piece, right? So I'm gonna do this one. And always check back in, right? When you're doing this stuff, kind of always ask yourself, am I breathing or am I just holding my breath? Because sometimes we tend to hold our breath and you kind of wonder why and you realize there's no reason why. So just breathe. It's always good for you. It's the best fuel you can get for your body. All right? And then, so like I said, I've got a bunch of different ones. So let's try Ooh. Ah, oh, this one's a little bit thicker. So then, All right, and so I feel like that really helped, right? Like the pencil looked nice, it looked cool, but I honestly think, right, the marker really makes it shine. And actually just to kind of, let me see, there we go. To kind of even show you a difference. So I was gonna do pencil here, but let's just kind of color these in with that really kind of dark marker. And again, you can do these in really, you know, whatever mark colors you have. Um, it doesn't matter as long as you're having fun with it and as long as you're breathing And you can add little, kind of these little lines, right, down. Because if you think about where the center is, right, I kind of start drawing these little lines down. It's kind of cool. We can trick the eye into thinking that this is like steps, right? And so... as these kind of come, right, you kind of have to see that the angle of the line just changes slightly, right, depending on what side of the picture I'm on, right? So as I get closer and closer to center, it gets straighter and straighter, and then as I get away from center, I gotta kind of bring that angle back, right? And, you know, I chose this as kind of my just random center point. But you could have chosen somewhere else, too. But that kind of helps, right? I don't know. Does it have that feeling like you're falling into another world? I don't know. Okay, guys. That's it for me today. As always, this is always a blast. Can't wait to do it again. Bye.